hello friends welcome back to sequelize tutorial right so last day we discussed about the basic introduction why we need this what is the advantage of that things and all the related things right so in this video we are going to discuss about how to install sequelize and how to set up connection with database right so let's go to the desktop or any folders and just create a new folder uh, suppose sequelize tutorial a c q u e l i c t sequelize tutorial okay and just go inside this tutorial and open with visual studio code okay so this is my uh, folder and here we're going to create a, a sequelize connections now just go to the terminal and open the visual studio code basically this visual studio code will be my editor uh, to create this application okay one thing actually sequelize is a promise based node.js orm tool right so you need some basic understanding of node so if you don't have idea about node or how you can use this node please see my previous video i have already published full node.js tutorial with express right so now here we need to install the sequelize and other related package right which is need when we are going to run our application so i will install one by one before that we need to create a package.json to install all the packages right so how you can create package.json so simply write npm init it is the npm initialization right so if you simply enter the npm init it will ask many questions like uh, what is the version what is the package name what is the uh, path or any or many things right i will show you after creating this so if you just use minus y not ask any detail or will fill up automatically with default settings so just uh, enter this so you can see a package.json is created and it's automatically fill up these things there's the name version description and the main file is index.js okay so all the things so if you let's check this so you will get the package.json with the same things which actually it's created okay now i need to install some package so when you install some package with package.json it will update so for now i just uh, need uh, suppose npm install or i anything i need first of all express express is basically a node.js framework when you create an application it will help to create a routing easily right so also it is lightweight and uh, it's perform well right and I need to install another uh, like body parser. Okay, so simply body parser P A R S E R. Okay, so basically it is used to receive some post data requests. Like, right? so if you want to get some data or you want to get the request, it actually exposes various type of factories to create middleware. Right, and I need uh, MySQL two. So what is basically MySQL two? actually its performance is good and also support prepared statement okay so i will discuss what is prepared statement and let's install this first okay so so all the things uh, basically related uh, for installing sqlize and finally let's install the sqlize a c q u e l i c t okay so actually this will install this four package into your application so just enter this it may take some time because at a time we are installing four packages okay so let's wait some minutes okay so all are installed now if i just uh, go here we can see in the dependency section the body parser is installed that's a 1.20.0 express version is 4.18 or mysql 2.3 sql is 6.20 okay so all are installed now to run node.js basically we use node and the file name that is the index.js my main file right so i can change it no problem and now i am going to install the nodemon actually nodemon is a dev dependency means it's not uh, directly related to uh, the development purpose means for not directly related to the project purpose so without nodemon project can be run but for developer if you want to uh, develop something sometimes uh, when you change that will not affect uh, directly so nodemon is actually auto restarting your application means when you change anything it will automatically restart and will show you the output right so for that reason actually i am using npm as a dev dependency okay so simply write save dev okay 
and the package name that is nodemon okay just enter this so basically it will install nodemon into your application as a dev dependency okay so it's installed now just go to the package.json so you will get the dev dependency section that is nodemon so all the things which i need i installed okay so let's create the index.js file that is the main file so simply write index.js and here uh, simply uh, just use the express first so actually we will use uh, express uh, for this thing so we will create a, a routing very easily and it's good uh, actually this is a lightweight framework okay so simply use constant express equal to require um, require require express okay so simply write express x okay so express is added uh, now uh, let's create a constant app equal to I'm using the express okay express function okay so and I want to run my application in a defined port so simply use the port number so simply write port uh, that is I am setting my port is 8080 and let's create a um, get request or get path so i am using the default path means the home url actually and uh, these things actually uh, need uh, two things request and response so simply i am using the fat arrow or you can say arrow function and simply just write response dot send and i just going to check whether my application is working or not so simply write hello world all right and let's listen the application so just see app dot uh, listen okay so simply write app dot listen and i'm passing the port and here just create our function and i am just going to write some console so simply write console log um, application is running something means app is uh, listening l i s t i n g listening at http colon slash local host colon and this is my port okay so just write the port name so just use a template literal so simply use these things that's a back tick you can say so simply write this tick and you can access this okay and here simply write dollar curly braces and the variable name is port okay so all are done now let's uh, try to run the application so simply just clear all the things and write nodemon slash index.js okay so app is listening at http localhost 8080 okay so just copy the link and let's see whether it's displaying or not yes perfectly it's displaying now our motto is to connect uh, with the database okay so my tutorial motto is so today i will going to create a database suppose uh, my database is uh, these things php my admin and i just going to create a database suppose uh, my database name is i just going to make the same name as a database also so simply copy and let's create a database so sql is tutorial okay so so database is created so let's connect the sql is so simply and just uh, connect with here so simply just connect with here so actually i am going to create a defined folder structure so in proportionally how we can do this so simply write uh, create a models folder okay so simply write models and inside the models i just going to create a js the index dot js and i want to use the connection related things here okay so this is the model index okay so simply uh, just write a constant and let's use sqlize a c q u i l i z e sorry spelling mistake no problem actually this is the variable right but i am trying to use the same uh, proper uh, naming here keys uh, require sqlize 
and this will be inside invited comma okay and now I just going to write constant and then civilize and I am going to use the civilize so I am uh, taking as a small and just connect so new sequelize okay sorry new sequelize and here actually we need to pass the database name username password so all the things we need so simply just uh, pass the database name here so my database name is sequelize tutorial no space and after database name we need uh, the username and then the password so here my password is abcd123 at the rate and finally i need to uh, create a closer functions and finally you can pass some extra parameter like uh, suppose host so i'm just uh, writing here host is localhost so just use the invited comma okay and you can set dialect so dia elicit a dialect and let's use mysql okay so actually i'm using mysql okay that's enough now i just want to check whether my connection is correctly working or not so simply just use that as sequelize dot authenticate function right so simply write sequelize dot authenticate dot authenticate and let's use the generator that is dot thin and inside here let's check whether it's uh, connected or not so if connected then simply write console dot log suppose here write connected successfully okay and otherwise if not then it's uh, taking into the catch section so simply write catch and inside the catch i am just passing a error so if any error is happening then i want to display that thing so simply write error and similarly write console doc error and say simply write error okay and let's see the error also okay so all are done now i need to call this index from this index chase right so model index from index chase so simply i just uh, going to require that thing so simply write require and uh, here write the path okay so my path will be um, dot slash models slash index okay so all are good i think now if i just go to the terminal you can see connected successfully that means our connection is established successfully okay so if i just use any wrong password suppose uh, uh, let's uh, password is wrong then it will display error sqlize access denied right access denied for user root localizer is the password and not proper okay so let's undo this so it's connected successfully that means we successfully connected mysql with sqlize right so hope you can understand this video and still if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section and next day we will discuss about how to create a model and what is the definition so all the uh, things we will discuss right so please like and subscribe to this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day bye